Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking at another great creative tool here in Luminar Neo. Specifically, we are looking at the Glow tool. Now, the Glow tool is useful for creating a lighting effect in your photos and it's especially useful for bright areas in your image such as streetlights or the sky. Now, once again, we are here in Luminar Neo, we are in the edit module and we are focusing on our creative tools here in our toolbar. Almost at the end of the list, we have the Glow tool here and we're going to be looking at the different sliders and options. Starting with the type, when you click on the drop down box right here, you have a four different types of glow and we're going to cover them in a moment. First of all, we're going to look at the slider, starting with the amount. The amount slider sets the overall strength of the tool. If the amount value is zero, the tool is not applied. Moving the slider to the right will apply the tool and increase the amount. I'm sure you get that. So let's have a look at it. We just shift it all the way and you can see how the glow is increasing on the image. So that's really simple. Then we can move to the advanced setting. So let's talk about the different settings here. First, we have the softness slider. This slider controls the softness of the glow effect. A higher value creates a gentler blend between the affected and unaffected areas of the image. Then we have the brightness. This slider controls the brightness of the effect. Really simple. Then we move to our contrast slider. This slider sets the contrast in the areas of the image to which the glow tool is applied. We will check that again in a second. We will apply it to multiple images. So don't worry about it too much, just so you know very basically what each one of them do. Then finally, the warmth. With this slider, you can make the hue of the glow effect warmer or cooler. Once again, we'll see that just in a second. So those were the sliders and now we should have a look at the four different types of glow. So we click on this little drop down box and let's go through the list. Starting with a soft focus, it adds a diffused soft look that is much stronger in a bright areas of the photo. This is often a good choice for portraits or to create a mysterious look in a brightly lit areas of the scene. Now you can see it right now, you can see the glow in the brighter areas and it looks very, very nice. Then we're going to click on the glow, which is very much the classic glow, adding a softness to the brighter areas and to some lesser degree darker areas. The level of softness is less aggressive than the soft focus. As you can see that even when I push the amount, it's so much less than with the soft focus glow. The next option is called Orton Effect. Now, Orton Effect is a traditional uh, technique used uh, when you work with the films. And this effect pretty much simulates a double exposure film technique, producing a dreamy quality for a photo. As you can see here, it's almost stronger than your soft focus when we switch, but it creates a little bit different effect altogether. And finally, we have the fourth option, which is called Orton Effect Soft. And this is a less contrasty version of the Orton Effect. By default, it has more of a matte look to it, with the shadow areas being more of a slate gray. So you can see that specifically in these areas, the difference is quite big. And again, it very much depends on your artistic decision to see which of the effect you like. And it depends on what you're going to use them on. Uh, then you can choose which one fit the best. So we covered all the different types of glow. We also covered all the sliders. So let's jump into the catalog and edit some more photos. 
We are here in the catalog and as you can see we have four more images here and once again here comes a reminder to make sure that you jump into the description, download the files so you can edit alongside me. Now the first image we're going to be looking at is this one right here as it will give us a great example for the Orton effect. So from here we're going back to edit module, we are looking at our creative tools, glow and once again we are here looking at the different types and we need to switch it from soft focus into the Orton effect. Now let's open the advanced settings so we can see the full tool and first we're going to start by pushing the amount. As you can see there is no effect on the image right now and that's because the amount is on zero. Now let's push it quite a lot and there are two things I want to remind you here. First, anytime we're testing these sliders, I really want you to push them as much as you can so you can really see the effect. It's no point to push them to something like four or five and then not really understanding what the slider does. So let's push it a lot. And then the second reminder is about resetting the sliders. There is a really simple way to reset them. All you need to do is to double click on the name of the slider and that will reset them back to the original value or to the zero. So for our case, we're going to push it to something what we like. I think effect like this looks really, really cool. And then with the Orton effect, you don't really have to do much more editing here, uh, but we can uh, work around and see if maybe the softness will help us a little bit to maybe make it a little bit softer. We can make it darker or brighter. I think in this case, maybe a little bit darker looks a little bit nicer. Then we can have a look at the contrast and see what we want to do here. I think pushing the contrast again, create a little bit more local contrast around the image. And I think it looks very pretty. And in this case, I wouldn't go for the cooler side of the warmth here. And I would probably just push it to a little bit something warmer, just like you see here. So I think the result look very, very nice. And just to see the before and after, we can click on this little eye right here. And before it looked like this and after like this, it creates a really nice fantasy glow and it adds something special to the image. So this is how you would use the Orton effect with the glow tool. And now let's see how we can use the tool on some other images. Now the next image we're going to be working on is this car here. So let's bring it into the edit module. Once again, open the glow tool here, make sure that everything is nice and open. And let's talk about what we're going to try to do here. So what we're going to try to do is to apply the glow, but only to the certain parts of the image. In a translation, we're going to try to create glow around these lights. And this will hopefully help us to understand that the glow tool is one of the most commonly used tool here in Luminar in a connection with the masking tool. I think it's really powerful that you can apply the glow to only certain parts of the image. So how are we going to do this? First of all, let's apply the effect and then we will mask it only to the parts where we want it. So let's go into our amount slider push it as much as we like. So we're looking just around the lights and I really like the glow we're getting. Then we can have a look at the softness. I think a little bit push on the softness helps as well. The brightness, just a touch. I think with the contrast, I don't think we're going to do anything with it. I quite like what we have there. And the warmth, we're going to leave the warmth. I quite like the white balance there. So the next step would be clicking on Add Mask. And we want to make sure that we are on a paint mask, that we are on the brush tool. And now we can adjust the size. Also, let's just make the size a little bit bigger than the actual light. Softness, we want to leave it on 100%. And with the strength, let's go to somewhere around 80. And now the moment I'm going to start to paint, you will see that the effect will disappear and it will only start to appear wherever I'm going to brush. So I'm going to do one click. And you can see that the effect is gone. And now I'm going to brush around this light. And the effect will appear there. Now let me show you before, after. And then we're going to brush around this light. And this light. And this light. And now we can have a look at the before and after. How cool is that? Now, of course, it's completely up to you what you want to do with it. We can make the circles a little bit bigger and make the effect a little bit bigger as well. So let's do that here and here. And again, let's have a look at the before and after. And I think the result is very, very cool. 
So let's use this technique on another photo. Let's go back to the catalog and we will be using this black and white image right here. Going back to our edit module, still in creative tools, still looking at the glow. So the idea will be very much same, but it's just a confirmation that you can use this effect also with the black and white photos. So what we're trying to do is to add a nice glow around these beautiful street lights. So once again, the workflow is same. We will push our amount slider until to the point when we like the result. Then we push the softness to add even more glow. And that works very, very well for the street lights. Then with the brightness, do we want a little bit of extra brightness? I think so. Contrast I would leave and warmth I would leave as well as it is a black and white image. And now the workflow for the masking is exactly same. We will go into our add mask. Make sure that we are on the paint mask. Make sure we are on our brush. Adjust the size towards the size of the street lamp. Softness 100 and strength somewhere around 80. And now once again, the moment I'm going to start to brush, the effect will disappear from the entire image and only start to appear in the areas I'm going to be brushing. So once again here and here. Now, if there is area you missed or you, if there is an area you overbrushed, you can just click to the eraser tool and you can just brush away the effect and then go back and brush some of it back. Now the lamp posts at the back are a little bit smaller, so we will adjust the size of the brush and just paint over them. And similarly here and here. Now this is just for a tutorial. You can take as much time as you want, but it will give you an idea of what we are trying to do. So let's just finish this off. And I'm already liking what I'm seeing. And one more time, let's have a look at the before and after. Really, really cool. I love the glow tool. I think it's super powerful and it can create beautiful images. Now we're going to finish this tutorial with this image. So let's go back into our edit module. And this is a great example of how you can use the glow on some other subjects. In this case, on the sun. The workflow will be very much same, but still let's do it. So glow tool in our creative tools. Uh, let's use the soft focus again and let's really push the glow to something like this. The softness, yeah, a little bit, but not too much. I think the brightness down a little, stronger contrast, definitely. And then we can push some extra warmth. And then similarly, going back to our add mask tool, making sure that we are on a paint mask, making sure that we're using the brush. The size can be a little bit bigger something like this and the strength again go back to 80 and now we just paint over the gentleman and we will be getting the glow right behind him so let's see the before and after again we can even add a little bit towards the lower part of the body and this is the result so there you go. That was the glow tool, which is really useful for creating a lighting effect in your photos. And it's specifically useful for bright areas in your image, such as street lights, sky, moon, lights on your car, everything you just saw. Now we have a four different types of glow, the self focus, glow, Orton effect and Orton effect soft. And with the sliders, you can add the amount of the effect by using the amount slider. And then in advanced setting, you can adjust the softness of the glow. You can adjust the brightness of the glow with the brightness slider. And then you can also adjust the contrast of the glow. And finally, depending on your picture, you can adjust the white balance of the glow by shifting it towards the left and make it little bit cooler or shifting it towards right and make it a little bit warmer. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.